Right, so it's been a while. Uh, YouTube videos have been a bit all over the place recently with lots of travel videos and kind of haven't been posting regularly. But today I'm here with Cahill, he's just cut my hair and he's about to style it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do how Cahill styles my hair versus how I style my hair. So a lot of people when they go to the barbers either love how their barber styles their hair or hate it. So a lot of people you see, they come in, they get their hair styled and then they leave and they put the cap on because they don't like the way the barber styles their hair. Me personally, I love the way Carl styles my hair. So I'm gonna get a good look from this camera and this camera at how he does it so I can maybe learn to do it myself. And I'm also gonna show you how I style my hair myself and we'll compare the two and see what you think looks better. And you can comment down below whose style you think is better. So pressure's on for Carl. We're going for a fresh start. Fresh hair, shampooed, not conditioned though. Yeah. And what are you starting with? Let me use some sea salt spray first. Can you tell the audience? Sea salt spray. Before anything else? Before, so when the hair's wet. Okay. Um, get a bit of oil in it. Okay. Alright. So this is Carl's secret weapon. It's a small vent brush, yep. uh, which allows the hair to travel in through the side from the hairdryer, and he can control the hair on this side. And if you can see, he was kind of almost back combing, so turning the hair on itself to give a lot more texture and some more volume. If I'm correct, that he styled the whole hair with a warm hair dryer and then turned the hair dryer to cold to set the hair. Yep. So it's looking like this. Uh, the next step is powder. Okay, so he's gonna use a volumizing powder next, which you can just watch and see what he does. You apply the powder to your hands or to the hair? No, so into the root. Okay. Personally, I do not think I'll ever be able to get my hair this good because this is my absolute favorite. But I'll give it a good shot. Now, Kyle actually has to take a photo for a competition of my hair. So he's gonna apply a little bit of wax. To give all the flyaway hairs. Yeah, flyaway hairs, major king. That is Cahill complete. Out of 10, I'd probably give it a 10. Because <laughs> it's that good. Uh, so now what we'll do is we'll quickly get a photo of this and then I'll spray mine completely wet and I'll dry it. And you can watch how bad I am at drying my own hair. And Kyle can give his opinion on how I've styled it. But it's going to be a shame to ruin this, but never mind. It's all for, all for YouTube. Right, so I'm going to be using Cahill's hairdryer. I'm going to use his brush which is kind of cheating because I don't actually have that brush at home. And I'm gonna use powder. I don't think I need to use salt spray because generally I don't wash my hair that often. I wash it maybe once a week or maybe twice a week. So it's usually got some like texture left in from the product the day before. I do wet it every day before I style it because when I go to bed I have sticky out bits here. Highest heat. I always turn the nozzle this way, like that. So let's go. You can say this is a completely different way to what Cahill does. But now that my hair's dried, it's usually all the way forward. There isn't much volume at the back. I struggle with getting volume at the back, but it's, it's still not that bad. And then what I do is I go in with the cold 
only on the cold setting to set the hair. So I usually set it not on the highest. And it takes two seconds to set. And as you can see, I've already got the shape and volume that I want to get. Um, it's a lot more messy than how Kyle does it. His is very nice and perfect. So what I'm gonna use now is the powder. And unlike Kyle, I just put it in my hand like this, which is obviously very wrong. I only found this out today, because he puts it in the root. And then, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna cheat because this is how I normally do it. Flip it into this hand, flip it into this hand, and then just put it on like this. <laughs> now make sure it's, I can feel that it's not in the roots, but I can feel that it's on the top, so it's, that's the lesson of the day. And then, I usually do just put a little bit extra on the front. Finger comb, so I like to have big gaps and spaces in my fringe, rather than it all looking one way. And recently I've been styling my hair over to this side. So again, I like to put my hand on it and push to kind of take down some of the volume. I like to bring the sides forward. This is pretty good. It's not bad. And then, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna use the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit of, would you say this is like a matte paste? Yeah. Like a wax, like that much. That's probably even too much. To again, do what Kyle says. Just kind of tie down any loose hairs. Then, that is me done, so I'll just give it a little spin. Three, two, one. What do you think? Not bad. Right, we're gonna get Kyle's opinion, and we're gonna get Kyle to give some quick tips in like one minute. He's gonna take us through his best tips. Is that all right? Sweet. But that's my finish. It's really not that bad, but again, I did have the base of all of Cahill's products, which is what I like to do. So I think my hair actually gets progressively better throughout the week as it's more dirty and has more products in. It's never ever smelly or greasy, which is good, but I think my hair just holds on to products better and it gives more texture and makes it a lot easier for me to style it. So let's get some tips from Cahill. Pretty good. Three yeah. or four tips. Only thing I would say is maybe last try it. 70-80% dry first before you start like working it up into that shape okay. and try to get the, the powder into the roots without <laughs> weighing it up in your hands. Okay, so um, it's easier to obviously get the powder in if you yeah. tip it directly onto the head. Yeah, and it'll give you a bit more volume back here. Okay. And then the wax just literally dust and polishing off the, the tops of the hair, not like really working it in through as you said. But if the flyways don't disappear with that, we put a hairspray. That fixes them up? Yeah, stick them in. And what about the way you use the brush? So, just to try and get as much air through the, the vents as possible. And you turn the hair back on itself? Yeah, just it's like a back combing sort of method. Okay. Just to get more volume. But yeah, I've learned, I've got good at doing my hair from watching him do it. So, I thought it would be nice to share the way he styles my hair. And you can learn from that too. Um, and that's the first proper YouTube video back. So we're gonna be posting more hair videos, fashion videos, kind of more just stuff to do with like men's lifestyle stuff on this channel. So yeah, looking forward to that. It was freezing before. Uh, thanks for watching, follow Cahill, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we're back in business, baby.